If you're new here, I have difficulty talking. It is what it is. You're gonna get used to it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about the best of the best skincare of 2022. I'm talking about skincare, I'm talking about skin tools. This year, if you've been following along, was really the year of me just taking a step back, taking a breather. I had a lot of anxiety this year. If you've watched my vlogs, it's no surprise. I've definitely been going through it. And for a hot minute, I really wasn't doing my makeup at all. Contrary to today, if you're interested in this full face of makeup, I did this makeup look using all of my favorite beauty products of 2022. I will link that video up here as well as down below. But I thought we'd do a separate skincare video because the reality is, is a lot of my time was spent doing skincare because I wanted to decompress, relax, give myself self-love. And you guys know, I like hate saying that because self-care and self-love is so much more than just like throwing a mask on. It's really taking the time to put time into yourself and make sure that you're happy, make sure that you're speaking kindly to yourself. So I would sit there in front of my mirror and do like my new face device, which we're gonna talk about in a second, give myself words of affirmation, take deep breaths in, deep breaths out. So I kind of made it a ritual. It really became a staple part of my year. A lot of days I would wake up and I wouldn't even wanna get out of bed, but I did get out of bed because I really looked forward to sitting at my vanity right here saying really nice things to myself while firming my skin, plumping, plump, plumping, plumping my skin. If you're new here, I have difficulty talking. It is what it is. You're going to get used to it. But so yeah, skincare was a really big deal to me this year. And I know that sounds so silly, but it really helped me get through the year as materialistic as that may sound. But sometimes it's just like whatever you look forward to in life, whether it's a good cup of coffee, whether it's a good stretch in the morning, doing your skincare in the morning. It's just life is what you make of it, my friends. And I say that all the time. So let's go ahead, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And let's hop into my best of the best 2022 skin products. So this guy, I got this beautiful tortoise shell. Um, what is this? What would you call this? I don't even know, but I got this at Target. I don't know who makes it. I will try and find it and link it down below, but I am so obsessed with this. I bought it as a travel kind of like to go kit, but then Mike bought me the cushy bag, which I've talked about a couple times here on my channel. And that just blows every kind of makeup bag you could ever think of out of the water. So I retired this as like my travel bag and it's become my skincare tools bag. This is the new face device. I have the regular size. I do not own the mini. I get that question a lot, but I've done so many videos on this. I don't want to dive into it too much, but I will link my tutorial video that I've done in the past up here. I have two attachments. This is the original attachment that I have. Now guys, this is just astonishing. Like I'm telling you, if you feel like your mouth is like sagging in this area, like you have the, I know it's like a weird name, but they're called labia folds. I know it sounds very derogatory, um, but like this, if you feel like you're kind of looking like a, a puppet, you know, with the mouth, like kind of like Pinocchio mouth, this really does a beautiful job of tightening the skin. It really tightens the jawline, it de-puffs. It just, like you don't need Botox if you have this. And you guys know I did do Botox once. I did it for the first time ever. I talked about it in a vlog. I'll link that vlog up here as well as down below in case you wanna hear about my experience, but I did it once, I haven't gone back. The Botox has left the building at this point, but I really don't need it because I rely so heavily on this and a facial roller, which I'm gonna get into, and a gua sha, which I'm also gonna get into, but this is the original attachment. This is what it looks like. I have them unattached because I did it this morning and I cleaned them both, but this is what the new face looks like. You run this across your face in upward motions. I do my neck as well. And when I do this, I spend a good 30 minutes doing it. And I do that about two or three times a week. And then this is the other attachment and this is for the lips and the eyes. It helps to lift the brow and it really gets into those like marionette folds in your face and it helps to plump like the skin around your lips. This is a magical product. 
I know that it's expensive. It's like a miracle worker, I'm gonna be honest. So long as you continue to use it, you keep it as a part of your routine. On days that I don't use my new face, I tend to use my Satchu face roller. So I've talked about this probably the most in terms of a beauty tool this year. This side is for your face. This side is for around your eye. I will link a video of a tutorial so you guys can check it out. But I love this, honestly. I wake up in the morning, I wash my face, I throw on the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Serum, just anything that's soft on the skin that's gonna give like a nice slip because you don't wanna tug this. You don't wanna tug on your skin ever, but I'll just go and I'll do this. And this is really good at lifting, but more so deep puffing. And you should do one side of your face, compare one side to the other, and you will genuinely notice a difference. This makes a really big difference, especially if you're someone that wakes up with puffy eyes, with a puffy face. You know, if you're someone that's emotional, you were crying the night before, you wake up, you're super puffy, your eyes are big, use the small side to help deep puff and really just bring that skin back to its normal state. It's made out of stainless steel. It stays cool naturally, so it does have a cooling effect. I highly recommend this. Out of all the products or facial tools that I used this year, this was by far the one that I used the most. However, this one I notice the most game-changing results with. Like I feel like I look five years younger on the days that I use this. I look way better on days that I use this as well in terms of like, you know, not doing anything at all, but this is affordable. Buy them both. Splurge on this, ask for this for a holiday, for your birthday, for something. Like this is just so good and I can't recommend it enough. And I've mentioned this in years past, but I just wanna mention it again. The Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I use this as a, um, what's it called? A conductor for the new face because new face has their own gel. But the reality is, is that you need to use so much gel so that you don't feel like your face is burning when using this that I run out of the new face gel all the time. So when I'm in between buying the gel, I use this as a conductor instead of the gel. However, this is a beautiful hydrating mask. I've been using this for, I wanna say a little bit over a year now. I'm on the ass end of this one. I just bought another one. And if you're someone that has dry sensitive skin, you will really, 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 really like this product. Again, I have dry sensitive skin for any of you that are new here and know nothing about me. Combo, more so dry. I'm definitely oilier in the summer, oilier around that time of the month, but I would consider myself a dry bitch. I love reusable cotton rounds, save the planet. They're really good. You know, I use it in the morning with a little bit of my Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. I, I love that toner. I didn't want to mention it though because I've mentioned it every single year. I'm trying my best to keep it to products that I either tried in 2022 or like the tail end of 2021 in this video. But yeah, these are really good. I got them on Amazon. I will use the Neutrogena toner in the morning to take off my nighttime routine. And then I will go in with my new face. When I go in with my face roller, I wake up and I wash my face using my Mario Badescu or any kind of gentle cleanser you may have. And then I go with the serum and the face roller. So this I only use on the days when I'm doing my new face because I don't like to wash my face before the new face. Whether I'm using the new face gel or this face mask, I wash my face after that to take the gel off or the mask off. I've really been enjoying the Satchu Beauty. Again, it's the same brand as the face roller, but the Gua Sha, I do this at night to help depuff my skin, to help with lymphatic drainage. I just like lift the skin up. I push the lymph nodes down to help with drainage. It feels really nice on days that I'm stressed. I honestly just take the larger end and run it down the back of my neck to release tension. I use a face oil. The one that I'm using right now, I'm not really like in love with. I'm excited to use it up and try a new one. I'm using the go-to face hero face oil, but you definitely need a face oil when using this. This gets deeper into the skin and into the muscles than the face roller. If you're interested in a tutorial, let me know if you're interested. But yeah, these tools have just been really game changing. And like I said, I did Botox, I tried it. It went okay. For the full story, check out my vlog, but I just, I don't think that's something that I want to start getting into the habit of. I think I wanna try more holistic approaches before I start relying on injectables and things that are not really that necessarily great to put inside of your body. Oh, I'm also gonna mention hair things in this video. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I have a couple hair products in here 
that I just wanted to mention. So bonus plus bonus round. My sister gave me this. This is from Scunchy, Scunchy. I don't know how you say that brand, but you all know the brand. She gave me this huge clip and this is like really the only clip that I've ever tried where like it fits all of my hair in. And I'm really hoping that someone bought it for me for Christmas because I only have this one that she gave me and I want the set. But like, I literally go to work with my hair looking like this. It's like sophisticated aside from this little alfalfa sprout I have going on. But on days where I'm not washing my hair, because the reality is, excuse me, I have to wear a strapless bra because all my other bras look crazy with this shirt. This one doesn't look great either. But on days where I just haven't washed my hair in like two days and I just want to pull it back, but I don't want to be like rough on the scalp because I've been taking care of my hair excessively this year. Like that was a mission. And I, I think you can see that by the reality of how long my hair has gotten like she long. I just started hair oiling, which I don't, I'm mentioning it in this video, obviously, because I just said it, but I don't want to get in depth with it because I just started. I've been doing it for three weeks. I do it for once a week. So I've only done it three times. My hair feels nice and soft, but I'm really doing it in hopes that I get a little bit more hair growth because I noticed that my hairline is changing. Like I lost a little bit of hair here. So I'm trying to just grow a bit of hair by using rosemary oil, but I don't want to talk about it because I want to make sure that it genuinely works. And I want to make sure that I don't end up bald before telling you guys you know, that it's good. Because if I tell you that it's good and then you end up bald and it doesn't work out for me either, like I don't, I'm not gonna own that because I have integrity and I want to see things through before I talk about them here on my channel. But yes, I have been hair oiling. And if you're interested in what hair oiling is, Google it. Look it up on TikTok, it's literally everywhere. I will report back here and let you guys know how it's going. Let's stay on the hair really quick because I don't have a lot of hair stuff to mention. So this Hask coconut oil, I'm on the ass end of it. I've used a lot of oil because like I said, I started hair oiling and I have been dabbling into other oils throughout the year in terms of like the bottom half of my hair. But this one is always the nicest to me. I really like how it feels. It smells beautiful, you know, and for someone that washes my hair twice a week, it's nice to put this in my hair and smell really nice. Um, it kind of like masks any unwanted scents. I haven't washed my hair in a couple days. It's really thin. I use about a dime size amount of oil and then I just apply it to the ends of my hair. I apply it from like here down and it leaves my hair really soft. It helps to um, make the split ends look less split endy. You know what I'm saying? Like when someone has a lot of split ends, the end of their hair looks fried. So it stops my hair from looking fried. It's not just masking it because it's hydrating my split ends so they don't look as fried. So it's masking it while also fixing it. Does that make sense? I know you know what I'm saying. IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. This stuff lasts a lifetime, but I use this every time I do my Dyson Air Wrap. So I'll put a little bit in my hair towards the ends. I'll Dyson my hair and this makes the curls last longer. Also, if you're someone that does like the robe or the sock, you know, where you put the sock or the robe um, tie over your head and then you do the, the French twist around it and sleep like that. I've talked about it before. I use this basically anytime I'm gonna curl my hair, no matter what method of curling I do, it helps the curls to last longer, especially for someone who naturally has not straight, it's like pretty straight, a little bit wavy hair, but it's heavy because it's so long. So the curls tend to fall out quickly. I used this before. Also, I wanted to mention that I used the Brio Geo hair scalp massage thing. I basically used that before I shampooed and I went through that pretty quickly and I do wanna buy that again just because it smelled really minty. It made my hair just like feel really clean and Mike would say how good my hair smelled. It smells like a peppermint mocha and it is a peppermint mocha season. If you don't know what a peppermint mocha smells like, honey, go into a Starbucks, any Starbucks right now. And that's what, that's what the hair mask smells like. Right now what I'm doing instead of doing a hair mask before shampoo, I'm shampooing my hair twice. So I would like to use less shampoo. So I think I'm gonna dabble back into the Brio Geo hair mask again, but I did run out of it and I didn't repurchase it, um, but I will at some point in 2023. Let's move on to skincare because let's be real, that's what you're all here for. So I'm not going in any kind of order. I'm just gonna pull 
and see where we land. So my two favorite sunscreens, facial moisturizers. This is the moisturizer I use every morning. I have a drugstore version and a more expensive version. This one is better than the drugstore one, but this is still amazing. So I love the Murad Hydration Perfecting Broad Spectrum Day Cream. It has SPF 30 in it. You guys know it looks beautiful under makeup, looks beautiful without makeup. It really helps to plump the skin and just make me look juicy and delicious. And I love it because it helps prevent aging and any kind of issues that the sun may cause. For those of you on a budget, I've really been using the crap out of this this year. This is the Neutrogena Clear Face Oil-Free Sunscreen SPF 30. I started using this because I left this one down the shore on Labor Day and Mike and I didn't go back to the beach house because we were, we got married, we were traveling, all that kind of fun stuff. So I left this one down the shore and Mike so happened to buy this at the drugstore. So I tried it and I stole it from him. So don't tell him that I have this, but these are both really, really amazing. I love them both. I discovered these in 2022 because Shiseido sent them to me. These are the Benefiance Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Masks. I use these on my wedding day. I looked like a child bride on my wedding day because I used my new face device. I face rolled. I used these eye masks. These literally fill in the fine lines instantly. I would recommend using this in the morning because, you know, it's a quick fix. Like it will last for a while. It will last for hours. However, like if you're going to put this mask on and then go to bed, like who, who are you hiding your wrinkles from? The people that you're dreaming of? Um, I don't know. So in the morning, put this on. I put this underneath my eyes. I'll do my eye makeup. I'll take them off, do the rest of my face. And, you know, a lot of the times if I'm done underneath my eye, if I have time, I'll put them around my mouth for smile lines. These are so, so good. These are the best eye masks I've ever, ever used, hands down. I asked my brother for this for Christmas and I'm really hoping that he pulls through and buys it for me, but this is the Lifestyle & Co Beach Mist Facial After Sun Spray. It is so good. This is the best facial spray I've ever used. This has replaced my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Who is she? We don't know her anymore. And I know because honestly, I've been using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray for years and years and years. I still have it in my makeup kit back here. However, like this is just so freaking good. I love this. I use this as skincare. I use this as a setting spray. I just use this to make my skin look and feel delicious. It doesn't irritate my skin. It smells really nice. And I didn't think I would love this set as much when I first bought it, but it was so good. Definitely a shining star in terms of skincare in 2022. I just wanted to mention a perfume. I'm just throwing it in there, but this is one that I got as a birthday gift from my husband in April. And I used it pretty quickly because I was so in love with it. This was like my go-to perfume this year. It's the Rose 31 by Le Labo. It's just, it mixed really well with like my natural scent. It's not too rosy. It's like a sophisticated rose garden. Like you're walking into like Versace's rose garden. I don't even know if Versace has a rose garden, but that is what I picture when I smell this. It has kind of like a spice to it. It's so beautiful. It lasts all day long. And I got the most compliments in terms of perfume this year when wearing this bad boy. Good Molecules, my aunt bought it as a recommendation. And this just goes to show you that we all have different skin and we all have different preferences. So I love this. It's like $6. You can get this at Ulta. I went through this so quickly because I loved it so much. I used it every day with my Satchi Beauty face roller. So good. Can't think of a better combo. But the reality is, is that I went through this. I received a serum from Murad for sensitive skin, which I also really like, but this one just blows it out of the water if I'm being honest, okay? Like the Murad one's good definitely a shining product that I tried this year, but this one's even better. But my aunt bought it, she tried it, and she said that she wasn't sure if this is what made her break out. I'm pretty sure she said she broke, I can't speak. I'm pretty sure she said she broke out from this product, but she did say that she tried something else, so she wasn't really sure, but she was too afraid to try this again. I have dry skin, she has oilier skin, so that might be it, but I thought it was beautiful. I say give it a try. And you know what? If you try it and you don't like it, it's $6. You really didn't waste that much. Give it to a friend with dry skin and she'll love you forever. This is nothing new. Tatcha, the water cream. I love this. This is just so beautiful under makeup. And this is my nighttime moisturizer. So if Mike and I are going out to dinner and I didn't wear makeup all day, I'll wash my face. I'll put this on. Otherwise, during the day, I like to wear a moisturizer that has SPF in it. But at night when I'm doing my makeup, this is what I use. I wore this on my wedding day. It's such a a good 
cream, whether you have oily skin or dry skin, I've used this on every single one of my clients and their makeup looks beautiful over top of it because it's hydrating, but it's not thick. So it's not gonna make any of the products that you put over top of it slip and slide. It's just gonna make your skin look delicious and dewy. And I, I just, I really love this product. I have like the ittiest bittiest bit left of her and then I need to move on because I have so many nighttime serums that I need to try. But this is like my holy grail. If I could only buy one skincare product for the rest of my life, this would be it. This is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I bought the bad boy during the Nordstrom sale. I recommend this to everyone and anyone, to your mother, to your grandmother, to your sister, to your kid. Just if you want a really light oil to just fill in the fine lines of your skin, or plump your skin. Like this will conquer any skin issue that one can think of. It just leaves your skin looking radiant. It feels nice. It absorbs into the skin beautifully. It's not a thick oil. It really is such a like thin oil that dries down beautifully. I love this. Try this if you haven't tried this. It is really expensive, but get it on sale. And I promise you, you will be repurchasing this for the rest of your life. I'm gonna be honest, if I didn't have anything else to try in my skincare um, closet, then I would just buy this again. This is one of these products where I don't need to over consume and try more and more things. Like this is just so good. I would love to use this every day. But the reality is, is that I can't because I have to try other things because I have things sent to me. But something that was sent to me this year that I'm so happy that I got to try because it's so beautiful. This is the Sobel SkinRx Bio Hyaluronic Moisturizing Cream. It claims to hydrate and lift. It really hydrates the skin beautifully. It is a thick, mother effing cream and I have had her for months and it literally looks like I just got her because the littlest amount will really do you like you take a little bit I probably take like a dime size amount of this I rub it between my hands and I pat it into my skin this is so good I highly recommend it if you are dry give it a try I think if you have oily skin you won't really love it it's non-scented so it's really good for those of you who have sensitive skin and so Bell's gonna rex whenever I go on their website it always says that they don't recommend their products to people with sensitive skin but I have very sensitive skin and I really 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 love their products so don't be deterred from trying is that the word don't be turned off okay just try them give it a shot they have really really beautiful products and I yeah like that is it those are all of my shout out killer skincare products that I tried in 2022 some of them but heavily relied on from years past. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments, what is like your must have holy grail skincare product? I would love to hear it. Let me know down below in the comments. Are you someone that has stopped over consuming as much? Like, I just feel like, the continuous like new makeup launches every week have kind of like died down a little bit or like honestly maybe it's because I'm just not interested and I kind of have unfollowed a lot of brands that just used to pump out skincare after skincare or makeup after makeup like every week it's like a new collab like ColourPop's nice and it's super affordable but I can't get behind that business model like I just there's a time and place for everything and I don't think that you need a new collection every other week so let me know your thoughts on that thank Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Happy holidays. Happy new year. I hope that you spend the holidays with those you love and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.